Michael, this is the, you know, you are directing Creed 3, yes, your first time directing this at all. Uh -huh. How excited are you for everybody to see this movie? I I'm extremely excited. You know, it's, a, it's been a long journey the last three years of my life, you know, putting this thing together. Um, you know, been, you know the, the Creed franchise is on its, its ninth year making it. Um, so to be able to... <laughs> And to, um, you know, to share something so personal with people that I, that I love and care about that's known me for such a long time, it, it, uh, it feels special. Okay, yeah. you know, I know it's special because, Tessa, this is why, one of the reasons why I love Cree is because the chemistry between you and Michael B. Jordan <laughs> on that screen. <laughs> like, so you've been through this. You've been, this is, you know, your third movie, you, you know, being in Cree, like, when you found out that Michael was directing, were you a little bit nervous that the chemistry would change? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what it was? He's like become such a good friend of mine and I love him so much. I was so proud of him. You know, yeah. he's been working since he was nine, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the culmination of so much that I just felt like I got to be his proud friend and on set his proud wife. Like every day at work, I was like, that's my man. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt that, and I felt that every day. And you felt it every day. I felt day. that support, definitely. It's a team sport, and to have like a scene partner and somebody that's gonna challenge you, you know, and yeah. ask the right questions and push you, but also be in that supportive role is something that I definitely needed, especially my first time directing. And I got it, and, and the chemistry did not change, I have to tell you that. And from the moment you popped up on screen and the studio, you came out the studio, I was like, okay, all right, they there. All right. <laughs> now, Jonathan, uh, you are dominating pop culture. <laughs> You're dominating pop culture because not only are you in Creed, but you're also in Ant-Man as well. And then, so you're in two big films, and you're on the, look at, don't go anywhere. Mm -mm, we got you now. <laughs> you are on the cover of Vanity Fair's Hollywood issue yeah. as well, right here. But I'm gonna tell you what sent me over the edge. It was a cover of Ebony Magazine. That Give him his flowers. I'm and I'm sorry, I gotta do it again. Hey, yeah. All right. Wait a minute, Sherry. It, it seems like he got the guns out for you again today. <laughs> and I'm feeling all of it, and I'm going, God is a good God today. <laughs> Jonathan, how does it feel to be a sex symbol? You're an amazing actor. We know this. <laughs> but you you gotta admit, you are a sex symbol. How does that feel? Uh, it, it feels the same. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. What? I mean, I mean, uh, it's so it's so cool. Good to see y'all. <laughs> yeah. Uh it's it's cool because it brings folks to the art and it also yes. brings folks to, you know, whatever else, you know, which is cool. <laughs> um uh, but I got my man here, who, <laughs> who is also a sex symbol. Oh, we gonna get to, we gonna get to Michael B. Jordan's so sex symbol I just, I, just I just follow, uh, follow my big bro. And, you and, know. And, how he moves. and don't yeah. worry, we not leaving Michael B. Jordan sexy nowhere. We, we gonna get to that. <laughs> but I just feel like it's very funny because the internet is going crazy over you, Jonathan, but you don't have a social media account. No, ma'am. So you, you have seen no comments. At all. No, ma'am. Okay, who the hell I've been DMing? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a little embarrassed. Where am I DMing? Can you send my pictures back? Um, so, Jonathan, so you have not seen any comments. I have to read. Do you mind if I read some of the comments that people have left? Please do. Please Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. I, I, I have these. to. So, at Cyclone 5 says, in the wise words of Janet, anytime, any place, <laughs> I don't care who's around. <laughs> yeah, that's my other IG name, sorry. Um, now, at Cassie Chris tweeted, Lord, forgive us in advance for our sinful, sinful. I mean, low down sinful thoughts. <laughs> Ebony didn't have to do us like that, amen. Amen, amen. And then we got amen. one more amen. for you. At Kiki's interlude said, I would like him to ruin me. <laughs> Let him ruin me. Is my mama watching this? Mama? <laughs> Me thinks your mama may be watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we need my mama here because you're speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> she a pastor, so she needs to let me know what's going on. Oh, you, you don't need no 
interpreter to know what I was saying in time. <laughs> you know? Tessa knew what I was saying. <laughs> Now, Michael, I just, I, you know, I also, I almost needed the oxygen when I saw you on the, the cover of Rolling Stone. Oh, Did y'all see it? Oh, yeah, that was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah. look at that. <laughs> so, I, what's going through your mind when you're doing the, these photo shoots? The crazy thing is I'm not really big into photo shoots like that. Like, I think I feel the most vulnerable on a, on, doing, taking photos like that. Rather than being on set and boxing and stuff like that, the photos is, 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 a, is a bit more work for me. But, um, but I, you know, an amazing photographer, Adrian Raquel, she did an amazing job, you know, with this cover. And, uh, I, you know, thank, thank you, Rolling Stone, for giving me, the, you know, the space to promote that movie, yeah, you know? Yeah, thank you, Rolling Stone, too. But, but I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna throw this off of me. I'm, uh, I'm volunteering my man, Jonathan Majors, for the next Sexiest Man Alive. I think, I think, next it's, sexiest man, alive I, I think it's gotta be magazine? Jonathan. Yeah. I think it's gotta be. I think it's gotta be. Have you, but... Now that, you know, Jonathan is this big sex symbol, have you given him any advice on the sex symbolness of it all? I, I don't think he needs any advice. I think he's doing the best thing by staying off of social media and just yeah. kind of just focusing on the work. And, 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 you know, once, as long as he does the work, he'll, he'll be fine. He'll be good. And if he needs me, I, he got a wingman right here. He's good. <laughs> Brother. Now, Tessa, I gotta tell you, I saw you in the film, in the Marvel film, one of the Marvel films, and you were playing Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. And girl, you were kicking butt. <laughs> you, Tessa, you did not come to play in the movie, and I was just like with you all the way. Now, you're, you're in the movie in Creed, mm -hmm. and you're not doing any fighting, so watching Jonathan no, and Michael, you didn't want to jump in the ring no. at all. <laughs> no, no, I had such a good view. <laughs> <laughs> I would have disrupted it. <laughs> no, I really like being ringside because I don't have to be as physical. The Marvel movies, you have to be, you know, you work so hard. You right. both can attest to that. You have to worry about your diet and everything. No, this time it was fun just, I'm being a mom, so I just have to worry about snacks. <laughs> and that's about it. And I, I think I did a great job at snacks. I made sure Mila had all the snacks she needed and I also had snacks. I had to try them first to make sure they were kid approved. <laughs> Girl, now, I, I love this because your character, you're a musician, you brought that into it, but when you auditioned for the role, did you have to prove that you could sing? Oh, my goodness, yes, I did. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, because, uh, b bless Ryan Coogler, he really wanted to make sure that whoever played Bianca was gonna write and perform that music, and thankfully, at the time, I was really interested in music, so I was doing it kind of as a hobbyist, but I was singing in a band. Um, but he had me send a lot of tape, and one time I was actually on tour somewhere in like the middle of the country, and we were doing sound check when I got the call yeah. that I had to send something else in, so I went into the dirtiest bathroom I think I have ever really? been and sent him a tape, yeah, in this very gross bathroom. But, I, <laughs> but it paid off, so here, here I am. <laughs> And that's, one of the, and that's one of the great things about the Creed film is like, you know, we want to get actors and people that are going to embody the role, you know? Yes. And the fact that, you know, Tessa was actually living that life, that Bianca lifestyle, it just added an extra layer. The same way that me and Jonathan has to get in the character and actually yeah. have to box to get inside yeah. the ring. So that duality, I think, is uh, something that just adds another layer to the Creed franchise. I think it's pretty cool. And it's so funny, this Creed franchise, this is, this is your first Creed movie, yes, Jonathan. Yes, and you and Michael didn't really know each other that well when you got the call to be in the movie? Uh, me and Mike had just, you remember that? Mm, we, yeah. shook, we shook hands on the way out of, uh, of a party. Really? Yep. Probably about a year ago, probably about four years ago. Now, four years yeah, ago four now. Yeah, four years ago. This is the season. And uh, the next thing I know, I'm getting a phone call from, from my team saying, hey, Michael B. Jordan wants your phone number. I said, what, Michael B. Jordan want my phone number? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. like every woman in America's dream <laughs> call. <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, I, I say, bring it, come. Um, I give it to him, he calls. 20 minutes later, he chats for an hour. Please. I see the passion, I see the, the, the <laughs> vision, you know, that he has for Creed Three. Tell me he's gonna direct it. I look at this brother and I go, this man's gonna, he's gonna live and die on this movie. This is it for him, you know? Yeah. And I wanted to have his back on that, you know, 110%. <laughs>